Hello, this is meteorologist Matt Walters with the National Weather Service in Topeka, Kansas. This is a weather briefing concerning the winter storm taking shape to hit the area later tonight through Tuesday. Confidence in a major winter storm impacting central and eastern Kansas is improving as weather models show more consistency. At this time, it looks like there could be two separate waves of precipitation with north-central Kansas receiving the initial wave of snow late tonight. The second and most intense part of the winter storm is expected to impact eastern Kansas late Monday afternoon and Monday night. There remains some indication that initially precipitation across eastern Kansas could be in the form of freezing rain. Fortunately, this should be short-lived with only minor accumulations as precipitation quickly changes over to snow Monday afternoon. Perhaps the greatest impact will be the strong north wind gusts expected with the storm creating near whiteout conditions and drifting snow banks Monday night. Because of these potential impacts, blizzard and winter storm warnings have been posted from the high plains of New Mexico and Colorado through western Oklahoma and much of Kansas. Locally, the counties in pink show where winter storm warnings have been posted. They will go into effect at midnight tonight across central Kansas and at 6 a.m. Monday for eastern Kansas. The counties in blue remain in a winter storm watch. There is always some uncertainty in trying to locate where the heaviest snowfall will occur, but we think the highest probabilities of heavy snow lie from south-central Kansas into northeast Kansas, with this graphic depicting at least a 70% chance of 8 inches or more of snow. This would include Wichita, Emporia, Topeka, Lawrence, and Ottawa, including much of the Kansas Turnpike, Interstate 35, and portions of Interstate 70. With this in mind, here is the latest thinking for snow accumulations. Areas under the winter storm warning could see between 8 and 12 inches, with the potential for locally higher amount. Taking a quick look at the weather model, we see that the uh, improved consistency from run to run, with the model now showing the center of the storm system still near the Red River Valley and precipitation developing over central Kansas by 6 a.m. Monday. By Monday afternoon, again, the storm is making slow progression to the east in southern Oklahoma with widespread moderate to heavy precipitation developing over southern Kansas. By Monday afternoon and Monday evening, that heavy precipitation begins to move north and east into southeast Kansas towards the Kansas City metro area. With the heaviest snowfall coming in uh, Monday evening and Monday night, by Tuesday morning at 6 a.m., the band of heaviest snow is now stretching from central into northeast Kansas. The likely impacts from this winter storm are minor accumulations of ice as precipitation initially falls as freezing rain late tonight and Monday morning. The heaviest snowfall looks to occur late Monday afternoon into Tuesday morning. Strong north winds could cause near whiteout conditions and drifting snow banks, potentially closing off roads. This would make travel difficult if not next to impossible. At this time, areas along a line from Wichita to Kansas City appear to be most favorable to receive the brunt of the storm. However, this could still be adjusted until the exact tract of the storm system becomes certain. So it is important to keep up to date with the latest forecast information. This concludes the weather briefing. You can get updates to the forecast by following the National Weather Service on Facebook and Twitter or by going to our website at weather.gov forward slant Topeka.